Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another informative video. This time it is on Dying Light 2 and I'm going to be talking about the items that you can get currently right now. There are some cosmetic items, there's currently three, and then uh, in two days, on the 16th, there will be three more, and then probably two days from there, there will actually be a weapon. So I'm going to tell you how to get them, how I got them, and basically this should work on PlayStation, Xbox, Epic Game Store, and Steam. So the first thing you need to do is have a techland.gg account. If you don't have one, then make sure to create one and sign in. So you go to techlandgg.com. Once you do that, go in and click on the event tab at the top. Go to the bottom of the page and choose platform. Now, obviously, whatever platform you have your uh, Techland account synced with, or you're playing the game on, that's what you're going to want to select. So me personally, I'm playing on my Xbox Series X, so therefore I'm clicking on Xbox. Now it takes you to the Xbox page, and as you can see, it is free. Now go ahead and click on free, then confirm, and then after that, I found it easiest to click on install. And then I just selected the system that I want to put it on because I got multiple Xboxes. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and start your game up. Make sure that your game was completely closed, not that it's on quick resume or anything like that. You want to start it up fresh. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on continue here. Once it loads in, the first thing I'm going to look for is the stash. All right, I should be in uh, the main area when I load in. All right, just waiting for the system. Okay, there we go. We're all loaded in. And so the stash is here. We're gonna go to it, we're gonna access it. Then you wanna move with RB into the extra tabs or the extras tab. And then there you go. We got the intimidating jacket, intimidating cargo pants, and intimidating high tops. So I'll go ahead and take a moment right here so you can go ahead and check the specs on it. Um, these specs are not the greatest. For me, they're good. But for some of you who are higher level, who've been playing the game for longer, it probably is not all that great. So I'm going to go ahead and redeem this by holding X. And yes, I'm going to redeem it. Now I'm going to come down to the next one. I'm going to hold X and redeem it. And there's the specs for that one. I'm going to hold X, redeem that one. And then you go back to inventory. And you should see them over here. So they're in your stash. So if you want to actually put them on, you're going to want to move them over. So I'm moving them over. Then I'm going to find where they're at. And I'm going to go ahead and equip it. If I didn't click the wrong button. Okay, so then we're going to back out of the stash. You come over here to your inventory. And we're going to go in and click on each piece of gear. Nothing there. Nothing there. Here we go. So for the chest piece, I'm going to go ahead and equip this. Nothing there. I know I got some pants. So as you see, this one is actually better for me. So I'm going to equip it. And then we got one more piece, which is the shoes. Again, I'm going to equip it. So obviously it goes by what do you currently have on, if this will actually be a good setup or not. If you're early in the game, I've only put in about five hours. I'm kind of doing some uh, so random side quests, so that's the reason why I haven't made it for pretty far through the story. But if you're like me, then maybe that's what you want to do is you want to have that on there. Now, in two days, which is on February 16th, they're actually going to have three more items that unlock that you'll probably do the same thing to get them. So make sure you sign in and get that uh, Techland GG account. So the three things you're going to get is a windbreaker, which is kind of like, um, I don't know, a face warmer. Then from there, it's going to be the leather guards, the intimidating leather guards, which is kind of like, um, I don't know, the thing that protects your wrist. Then the last thing will be the intimidating gauntlet, which are basically gloves. So those are the three things that you're going to get on the 16th. And then if it goes by the same amount of time in between on the 18th, you'll be able to get the two-handed authority hammer, which is a hammer melee weapon. 
So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below, were these items that you actually equipped or are you way too far and way too powerful with what you have in order to equip these in these kind of a waste of your time? Now, it'd be kind of interesting to know. Until next time, Assassinator out.